So it's been almost a whole year now that I've been contemplating on going through with the install of the SSV Works JLU subwoofer. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another upload of It's A Dire Thing. Rob here. First and foremost, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification. This way, you'll always be up to date on everything I do. So today's video is about the SSV Works JLU subwoofer enclosure for the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Um, this is for the 2021 Jeep. And so when you do go ahead and order the SSV Works subwoofer enclosure, you have a couple of different options. You can get it loaded, unloaded. You can have it installed with different types of subwoofers. Um, I don't think you can get it amplified, uh, but anyways, it doesn't really matter um, because you would always want to go with your own amplifier anyways. So um, to marry up the SSV Works enclosure, I reached out to the guys at SSV Works and I had them install the Kicker RT Comp 10 inch subwoofer and I've checked out on Google and I've checked out on YouTube and I have not seen any videos out there in with this system installed into the Jeep. There's all sorts of subwoofers and all sorts of boxes, but I have not seen the SSV works. So this is for you guys who are inquiring and to see, does it actually really make a difference? So let's get to it. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, like I was saying, it's been almost a year that I've been contemplating on actually installing the subwoofer. So I've had it with me for quite some time. Now, long story short, uh, I first bought a Jeep last year and it was the 2021 as well, Wrangler. Uh, that was with a manual transmission. And on that one, I did have the, uh, what we call the advanced safety group. So it had the adaptive cruise control and then it had the auto braking system into it. Uh, why am I saying all that? It's because it uh, has a specific uh, feature and functions which required a, a wire loom and a whole lot of stuff uh, installed onto the Jeep from factory where the brake booster goes and well where that goes is also the same port where the wiring and stuff like that would go pass through the firewall to get into the engine compartment to get to the battery to power up the subwoofer and everything so anyways let's skip forward I ended up tra trading the Jeep for another Jeep anyways um, so now I freed up all that so I do have an easy accessible port to get through the wire loom and all the harness and the power and everything that we need to do to get the system now officially set up and running. So again, I've been contemplating for quite some time in order to get that done. And today is the day. So we are here at Ray's Car Audio and Security Systems here in the Scarborough Markham region. Um, this is just off of Midland and Finch Avenue. Uh, so these guys have had uh, done some pretty good work in the past. I've got lots of reviews on them. And I, you know what, I've chatted with them a couple of times. Um, they tried to do the original install and just said, you know what, it's probably the best that we don't want to do that because of all the complications. However, we are back here to again, again today and we are going forward with this install and we're going to get it done. So we have like i said the awesome 10 inch kicker rt comp subwoofer from ssv works enclosure which is a sealed enclosure and that's going to be marriaged up with the capacitor here and then i have a 1500 watt boss mono amplifier i'm still running the current alpine 10 inch factory subwoofer with the 8.4 uh, you connect audio system. So for that, we are still good. 
Um, I am going to keep the stock factory unit going and the stock uh, subwoofer. Um, we are going to run the remote control. So this does have a remote gain and then the, the actual remote which turns on and off the, the actual amplifier because I don't always want it on. So there's two options and we're gonna see what Ray can do in regards to the installation. So I do have a gang switch here from Rough Country. Um, so the first three are for my lights and then I'm gonna have a couple of extra lights and I'm thinking of putting the th the, the last one here, the number six, would be the actual on-off power for the amplifier um, in regards to the remote control. Um, in regards to where am I going to install the remote gain, I'm still not 100% sure. So we are going to kind of leave it loose for now until I can come up with a, an actual um, placement somewhere that is convenient and still clean and not uh, too much of a nuisance. So I am hoping, I am hoping uh, we're going to see a big difference, but I don't have my hopes up uh, to to actually follow through with a big difference. Now, again, we haven't touched the, the original uh, audio system in this Jeep as of yet. So that will maybe be the next things to come later on. Uh, but for now, we'll see how things go with just at least the subwoofer. We want to start with that due to the fact that when I do take the, the top off and the roofs off, the doors off, um, the sound is really lost. So uh, with the subwoofer, I, hopefully I can gain some of that back and then encourage me to continue on with the rest. So I'm gonna drop the Jeep off, leave it with the boys here for half of the day, hopefully. Um, shouldn't be too long for them to do the install. It's fairly simple. And then we'll get back, get it powered up, get some music going in here and see and hopefully uh, I will let you know if there's that much of a difference I'm hoping uh, we will feel it and uh, yeah so music got to be careful with what kind of music I put on here because I do not want to have um, royalty problems right and uh, then get busted oh you can't be playing that and then we're going to take all your monetization you know i do make a couple of bucks with some of the videos i do so every little bit helps uh but uh yeah anyways alternative punk so most of my music from you for you guys here as well does come from uh um free music so definitely uh, take a look down in the bottom of the description here um, it will provide you with all the information and the links in order to get to it uh, these guys got all sorts of really awesome music different playlists and different stuff like that so um, I'm very very pleased and I haven't had any issues with uh, with royalty problems and stuff like that so these guys are pretty good um, on lap I like these guys on laps are pretty good so anyways let's go So that's the stock audio. All right, let's check it out after. All right, well, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's not that I was doing anything. I was at home napping, right, for the most day. But uh, yeah, so we finally got the full assembly installed and uh, everything kind of somewhat sort of worked out the way it wanted it to be in regards to the wiring where I wanted the placement to be. And at the same time, um, where I wanted the switch to be. So um, as I said, I have the Rough Country gang system here. So we did manage to actually have it installed onto my last one there because I, that's kind of like a spare. Once I do all my lights, it was kind of like the uncalled for. So worst case scenario, if I need to move it over and then just have my own switch, I will do that. Um, I've still yet to figure out what I wanna do with the remote gain control. Um, so I'm thinking around here somewhere right now. Um, we've just got it uh, temporarily taped up here just so I can see what I want to do. So um, I have plenty of wire. So again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, um, but that's the least of my worries right now. Um, so we did run the power wires and the, and the, the negative wires all the way from the front to the back. Um, we are hooked up with the capacitor, the amp and the subwoofer. Um, 
sounds great. Everything is not bad at all. I'm very pleased for that. Um, but we are running into a bit of a snag here um, when it comes to... Um, uh, now I've got this error message here, which is my auto start-stop feature here. Um, now I don't know um, if this is caused from the, maybe the, the, the store has had the battery on for a, or had the ignition on for a very long time, and it has uh, depleted my secondary battery on the Jeep. Um, so I'm just letting it run, let it idle, and hopefully go for a drive later on today. Uh, see what happens with that. Otherwise, I'll have to go and get that looked at now by the dealership. So anyways, I'm sure you don't want to hear about all that nonsense. But unfortunately, it is a bit of a snag, and I'm kind of a little bit bummed out about that. So hopefully, um, they didn't do whatever they did, which then caused the issue. So we'll see. Uh, right now, we are running here with uh, just a half base up here. Um, some mid and some treble. Um, I'm running right now with the stock speakers and the stock subwoofer here. So you can hear it kind of like this. Now, that, let's back it up a bit here so we can kind of build up the suspense again. So that was the um, that was the stock speakers and the stock subwoofer. Now I'm going to turn it on. So we are on here. Uh, my remote gain. I'm going to put it 50%. So I know now that we do have the actual subwoofer, the SSV 10 inch with the kicker RT comp bring the volume down a little bit, press play, and here we go. So we definitely have um, some good bass. Um, it's not a thumping, thumping bass like as if it was a, a ported box. It is still a full sealed box. Um, so certain songs is definitely is going to build a different, different uh, feeling to the music itself. Um, so overall, am I pretty satisfied? Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it, right? I mean, uh, I would have been a little bit better if I did the install myself. Um, but you know what, for the most part, because of where we are and what we're doing and stuff like that, we can't always get to that, right? So, ah, conclusion, yeah, totally, I think it's very nice. It's definitely adding a secondary subwoofer from SSV Works is, is, a, is a big, sorry, is a big plus. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with it, you know, we'll see. <laughs> so, you wanna go take a look at it? Yeah, we'll go take a look at it. Here we go, I'll show it to you what it's like. So there we go, we got now the power system coming into the capacitor and then after that it's then turning around and running back to the amp and then the amp it's running over into the subwoofer here. Um, I did ask for a quick disconnect here so I do have a dis quick disconnect uh, so I can uh, always remove the, the uh, sub box if need be. I still got to trim out this here there but uh, it's still brand new it needs to kind of get broken in a little bit but there we go everything is there everything is done and we're still retaining our, our main system here. I got a lot of cleaning up to do and got to put this stuff away. So. So we are running our power, our system right under and through here, I would presume. So we still have this here that we're gonna have to kind of figure out what we need to do there. <sighs> the battery compartment, I really rather not show you because it just kind of ran a wire out and kind of over the battery. It wasn't super, super clean, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, so I will go ahead and possibly just clean that up if I can a little bit better. Uh, but that's just me because I'm a little bit more, uh, yeah particular when it comes to my stuff 
but the the speaker itself and this is what this is about is actually the ssv subbox speaker and not the installate installation and not the the service provider i'm fairly pleased with it so till next time y'all be good have fun be safe don't forget you bikers out there keep it covered i Yeah.